Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of identifying functions, specifically how we can do so with graphs, with tables, with ordered pairs, even with mapping, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So, sometimes you might hear or read the statement that y is a function of x. What does that mean to be a function of something? Well, to put it in easier terms, that means y changes, or maybe you'll see the term varies. So y changes or varies based on the x value. So we have a graph here. We don't even necessarily need to see the equation. We can just tell, I've plotted a few points here. You see them with these dots, but obviously there's a lot more points that I could have done, right? So as my x changes to 4, my y changes to 3. As my x changes to 7, y changes to 10, and so on. We don't need to know the equation. We just know that this is a function because every x value I have has a separate y value. Now, I didn't plot every single x value. So if we're looking at a um, graph, the easiest way to do that would be to do something called a vertical line test. So even though I didn't necessarily plot every single point, the vertical line test means that as long as I can, whenever I draw a vertical line, only touch one part of the graph. The graph is not doubling back on itself. This line does never touches two parts of the graph. That means that every single x has only one y coordinate. So that this works, and we can tell. Um, even if we wanted to just look at the ordered pairs, right? So if we listed out these ordered pairs in a series like this, right? 7, 10, 10, 7, 16, 14, we're saying this is our set. How could we tell? Well, all we need to do is look at, look at the x's. And as long as there's not an x that repeats, 4, 7, 10, 16. Don't even look at the y's. Just look at the x's. And if the x's don't repeat, you are good to go. You can also do something called mapping to where they'll kind of give you, looks like two little uh, circles or ovals right here. This is just another way to visually show x and y coordinates other than this table that we've got right here. So you might say 4, 7, 10, 16. Maybe you put the y coordinates over here in numerical order, right? And then you just map them. You draw little lines. 4 goes with 3, 7 goes with 10. Doesn't matter if they cross. 10 goes with 7, 16 goes to 14. So this is an example of y being a function of x. Let's see what happens when y is not a function of x. Now this one is a little problematic. y is definitely not a function of x. We can see it multiple ways. If we wanted to try our vertical line test, take a look. This line is going to hit two parts of this graph, which is kind of like a circle or an oval, in multiple spots. So that's one way that you can see that y is not a function of x. Also, if you wanted to look at just the tables, or if you wanted to look at the ordered pairs, look with the repeats, right? Because what I started with is this point up here, and I just kind of Rotate it clockwise in case you're wondering and found some of these points here. And you see that I'm repeating 12. So y cannot be a function of x because if my x is 12, right, y could be either 19 or it could be 6. That doesn't make sense. Every x needs to have a y value. You cannot have two x's that are the same. Now, you can sometimes have this. You can say, this is kind of a wonky, right? You can say x is 19, right? And then you could also say y is 6. Sometimes you'll see an example like this. That's OK. You can have different x's with the same y value. What you cannot have is two y values with the same x. You cannot repeat those 12s. Or you cannot repeat uh, these 8s right here. So if you were to map this, if you were to do ordered pairs, this would not work. y is definitely not a function of x.